What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel for a video all about how I manage my time. I'm going to give you 10 tips. I am a YouTuber and I am a mom and Priya, hi Priya, Priya requested this video. She was talking about how, wow, you're posting a lot of videos lately and I'm just curious about how you're managing your time. Could you give us some tips? So that's why I'm doing this video. If any of you have video requests or video suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and if I can work them into my upload schedule, I will definitely try to do that for you guys, but this was an easy video to make for you guys. So I'm excited to talk about those 10 tips. So just to give you guys a background, if you're new to my channel, I have been on YouTube for three years and I host a Bible reading plan here on YouTube and on Twitter. I have a continue, it's called continue. It's my digital devotional magazine. I write all the content for that and I do all the Photoshop formatting and all the publishing with flip snack and different things. And then I manage bonus content over my Patreon. So I have a lot going on with that. I also have a baby, Rose, and she's almost five months old. And so there's definitely a lot going on in my life, but I have been figuring out how to get it all done. And so that's that's kind of my background. So my first time management tip is to put your phone away. This is something that I do that I know frustrates certain family members and friends that I have. But what I'll do is I will put my phone on the charger somewhere far away from where I'm gonna get work done and I will leave it for a couple of hours and then I will be able to get stuff done without being distracted and wanting to check the analytics on the latest video I've uploaded or my Twitter or my you know Instagram or text messages or phone calls or emails. My phone can be a big distraction and so I like to put it away. Also, I feel stress melt off of me when my phone is not near me. I don't know exactly why that is, but I feel less stressed when I'm not near my phone. My second time management tip is, I want you to get a visual for this, it's to pinch your nose and jump in off the deep end. I remember being in swimming lessons when I was like six, seven, eight years old and we were learning how to dive. And the way we learned how to dive was we jumped off the deep end and we had to get used to it. And so we would pinch our noses and jump off and jump off and jump off. And so that's how I look at like a big project that I needed to get started on. Sometimes I feel intimidated. Like the thought of doing, you know, the June issue of the Continued Devotional Magazine, it was like, it seemed too big. It seemed a little bit like if I start this, what if I start this and then I don't end up finishing it? I had all these thoughts going through my mind that were kind of keeping me from like getting in there. And what you have to do is just picture yourself jumping off the deep end of the swimming pool when you have a big project or task in front of you, you pinch your nose and you just go for it. You just not literally pinching your nose, but you just get in there and you start and then you'll find yourself getting stuff done. My third time management tip is especially if you are a mommy, sleep training, sleep training, helped me so much. Rose is going through a little bit of a sleep regression right now. So it's not as like sharp as it was at two and three months old and, or actually three months and four months old, but she's still on a schedule where I can count on the fact that somewhere between seven and 8 p.m., I'm going to feed her, change her diaper, put her in her pajamas and lay her down for bed. And she's gonna stay asleep at least until midnight and sometimes later than that. And so then she'll wake up and I'll feed her. But knowing when her bedtime is allows me to, one, I work out in the evenings so that I can lose some of this baby weight. So I put her to bed and like at least three or four nights of the week, I go over to the gym and I work out and then I come back, I take a shower, I might get a snack and then I work. I work on either the devotional magazine, I might spend a little bit of time talking with my parents or my husband, but I, I get stuff done in the evenings and I can count on that because I've trained Rose to have a, a sleep schedule. So I really recommend that. The fourth time management tip is be willing to accept help. Uh, we are up here with my parents in Illinois and I didn't wanna be one of those millennials quote unquote who lives with their parents you know and all this stuff but i really felt like my dad he invited us to come up here and be with them for a season of time like 10 months and i was like oh that's kind of embarrassing like oh i'm with my parents da da da, da. but I felt like the Lord told Paul and me, that is what I want you to do. I want you to go up there to Illinois. So one, it was an act of obedience, but two, it was humbling myself and being willing to accept the help that was offered. And I have been able to get so much done since I've been here in Illinois with my mom and dad. Paul, he helps me so much. My mom, she helps so much. My dad, he's at work all day. His contribution to helping me be able to get stuff done is inviting us to come up here. And so accepting help, obeying God when he leads you to take a certain direction, that is a time management tip because 
God knows what he wants you to accomplish with your life and he can give you a game plan and a strategy to get that done and you need to be willing to accept that even if it like hurts your pride a little bit, you know what I mean? But my next tip is to use sticky notes. So I used to really be into planners and I still enjoy planners. I think they're so fun to look at and I used to do a lot of like happy planner videos on my channel about, you know, before I had a baby. But planners don't really work for me right now because I have to have a little bit of flexibility to move things around based on, you know, when Rose actually gets asleep to her nap because sometimes she does have a day where she doesn't want to take her nap when she's supposed to take it and just different you know my life has to be a little bit like more flexible and so planners aren't working for me so I use sticky notes I went to the store and I bought like 10 pads different colors of sticky notes and I use them to kind of color code my life and I use them for two things one I write down ideas that I can't do, get to at the moment but that I do want to think about and work on in the future an idea for a project an idea for an article in my digital devotional magazine an idea for a video like if it's a list of things like this like I wrote down my 10 time management tips I wrote it down in my iPhone first and then I wrote it down on sticky notes and then I will also use sticky notes not just to get ideas down but also to do to do to do lists and when I get the to do list accomplished or when I get the idea like set down in a notebook or on a document on my computer or you know get it accomplished then I throw the sticky note away and then it keeps me like I just constantly check the sticky notes I keep sticky notes in my Bible in a notebook and on my desk like work area. So this is my, um, this is the planner that I don't use as a planner, but I use it for video notes. I just write on top of all the planner pages. And then I also have these sticky notes of like what I'm doing today and the notes for this video and different things like that. My sixth time management tip is to do batch work. Batch work means that you think ahead in advance and you plan out. Today, I am filming this video. I am filming the reading themes for the Gospel of Luke. That's a series here on my YouTube channel and I'm filming four mini devos for Twitter. I am filming all of those. I have laid out which shirts I'm gonna change into. I've got my notes right here and I am going to systematically work my way through filming them, changing the outfits, getting the notes together, and then I will edit them and then I will upload and schedule them. I use Hootsuite to schedule my tweets. Sometimes I'm tweeting in real time. Like obviously if I'm replying to you, I'm not scheduling that. I'm just talking to you back and forth on Twitter. And there's lots of you that I do that with, like Maisha and I always see Shamika and I, uh, Catherine Sadowski, there's so many of you that I talk with on Twitter, but I get that batch work done. And so uh, I think about it in terms of categories too when I'm doing batch work. Okay, today I'm gonna do some batch work filming. Today I'm gonna do some batch work editing. Today I'm gonna do some batch work responding to emails, comments on YouTube channel, Instagram and Twitter. And then I'll just like, focus on that for a period of time and get it all done. My seventh time management tip is to find some motivation. Actually, you guys being patrons over on my Patreon page and supporting me, when I saw that, it really inspired me to work even harder. So when you get like a lot of like feedback, like, yes, I'm really excited for this. For me, when I get that feedback, which I appreciate so much from you guys in the comments and over on Patreon, when I get that, it makes me wanna be like, oh yeah, it gives me extra thoughts and it helps me to like keep on track and want to stay on top of my to-do list instead of being like, you know what, I'm just tired, I don't wanna do it right now. When I can picture like the motivating factor, like a certain person, like Priya for this video, I told Priya, when Priya requested this video, like last week, I told her, okay, I'm gonna work on that video for next week. And when I can picture Priya and her little picture, like, I'm like, okay, I wanna get that video up. I wanna get that video up. I, she's counting on that, you know? So it's finding that motivation and staying excited to get everything done that you need to get done. My next time management tip has to do with something I did mention earlier, which is Hootsuite, but it's scheduling stuff in advance. So when you get your batch work done, you wanna stagger it out so that it, uh, you know, so that there's this steady flow of content. And this is a very specific to YouTubing type of time management tool. I don't know that this would really help a mom, but if you're on social media, if you wanna like build up your Instagram or build up your YouTube channel, on the YouTube Creator Studio, when you edit your video and upload it, you can choose a scheduling option to schedule it for the next morning at 9 a.m. And that also helps with like, 
optimizing the best time. Like when are your subscribers on YouTube? When are they checking? Well, you can kind of like look at your analytics and see, all right, a lot of them are looking in the morning. And so not look, not that you know they're on YouTube looking. I don't know individual names of people. Don't worry, it's not Big Brother watching you. But I can tell that people, there's more views on my videos when I post them a certain time. So I schedule it in advance to hit that peak time. And then also I use Hootsuite to schedule out tweets. So with the Bible reading plan, um, this, this time it's a little bit different because I'm doing the mini devos, which are videos. And for some reason, Hootsuite does not want to let me schedule videos in advance. I'm not sure why it's been such a frustration of mine. I'm trying to get better at learning how to do that because I've been having to wake up very early. Luckily I have to wake up to feed Rose, but I've been having to wake up. And if you notice on Twitter, if you go check out my Twitter feed, it'll say that I posted the Bible reading for the day at like 3:37 AM instead of 5 AM when it would post at 5 a.m. in the past, that's because I set it up on Hootsuite in advance to post at that time. And then when I woke up at like seven, I would get on you know, Twitter and respond to you guys who had already seen the tweet when you were up earlier. And so, but scheduling in advance is something that I recommend to help you manage your time if you are involved in social media. Next to last time management tip is to pray in 10 minute bursts for help from God. So this is something I do very specifically and I will get my iPhone. You've probably heard me talk about this in other videos, but I get my iPhone. We did this with the Pray With Anna Challenge. I set my timer for 10 minutes and then I will go into my room or somewhere where it's quiet and I will pray, like for Continue, the devotional magazine that I released for June, the June issue. I was so overwhelmed at the thought of getting that all done before the end of May. And the Lord would like lead me. He would say, all right, go in your room and pray for 10 minutes that I will help you to get this done. And so I would set my timer, I'd go in my room and I'd just start praying over the content that Lord help me to know what to write. Lord help me to manage my time so that I get this done. God help me like, and I would just, you know, pray for help in the whole situation to accomplish the project that was in front of me that the Lord had given me to accomplish. So that is my next to last step. And then my final time management tip is to make sure you are getting enough uh, rest and sleep and taking your vitamins. My mom's really good about reminding me, hey, you need to take your vitamins. Hey, you need to take your vitamins. And she's right. Cause when I take them, I, if I take them for like, you know, like a week, I can tell a difference in my energy levels. If I will discipline myself to not watch, you know, like, Steven Crowder's <laughs> political analysis, two hour long YouTube videos. He has this series called Change My Mind and they're really long videos. And he's like, change my mind on abortion. He goes to college campus and he, he like gets these people to have these dialogues and they debate and stuff. And I think it's really interesting and I wanna watch it. But those videos are like an hour long. If I will discipline myself to say, no, you can't watch that before bed. You need to actually go to sleep at 10.30 or 11 p.m. so that you can, you know, you're gonna have to wake up in the middle of the night to feed Rose and you're gonna have to wake up in the morning when she wakes up and you have a lot to get done tomorrow, it's just making sure I get the right amount of sleep, making sure I discipline myself to go to bed, making sure I'm drinking enough water, making sure I'm taking my vitamins. That is something that will help you. It helps me manage my time better because I have the energy and the fuel to get everything done that I need to get done. So those are my 10 time management tips. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Don't forget to leave any uh, requests for video ideas, video ideas or requests that you have in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another video. I have a video posting tomorrow Tomorrow on Thursday, I have the five reading themes for the Gospel of Luke going up. Because we start the Gospel of Luke with the Read Within a Bible Reading Plan, we're starting that at the end of this week, so I wanted to get that video up for you guys. And then after that, I have, I'm so excited for this one, how to do a word study on Bible Hub. So many of you requested that video. I've it's one of the most requested videos I've ever had when I mentioned it last time. So I'm excited for that. Um, and then, yeah, I have even more videos in that plan, but you will hear about those in the future. So like I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.